Good morning, I'm Nika. It's Monday morning. We're gonna start our morning off with a 20 minute stretch class. So if you have a long stretch band or a long towel, anything you can just use for a little bit of extra assistance, that'll be really useful in this class. Also a foam roller, if you don't have a foam roller, a large pillow will help you for stretching over or anything like that, even a small ball. Go ahead and start on your back, but anytime you're gonna do a lot of static stretches, it's always nice to have the body a little bit more warmed up first. So we're just gonna start with some light bridging, arms by your sides, you're gonna inhale. When you exhale, tuck the pelvis, roll the hips up slow. Inhale at the top, exhale, articulate back down. Inhale, release. Exhale, scoop the belly, tuck under, roll up. Inhale at the top, exhale, roll back down. You're gonna do four more like this. Getting the body nice and warm as you're getting up always helps you get a little bit more into that stretching. We don't necessarily wanna spend a lot of time stretching when we're cold. We at least want the muscles moving and ready to go. Last two. Inhale at the top, exhale, roll down. And then one more, inhale. Exhale, roll all the way up. Inhale, hold. Exhale, articulate down slow. From here, take your left leg in tabletop. Lift your right leg in tabletop, bring them together. You're gonna inhale, when you exhale, curl the upper body up. Hands come to your shins. We're just gonna do a little bit of double leg stretch, get everything moving. Inhale, reach. Exhale, circle for one. Inhale, exhale, two. Inhale, reach. Exhale, circle, three. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, pull it in for four. Inhale, reach. Exhale, five. Last three and two and one more come all the way down hug your knees into your chest from here you're going to pull your knees apart just a little bit so they're coming towards the shoulders you're going to feel that a little bit in the hips maybe in the back and then again we're going to use an ab exercise to help us lengthen through the back of the legs before we go into our hold so you're going to come up Lift your right leg up, hands come behind your right hamstring. If you have the flexibility and you already feel warm, you can take it behind your right calf, but I like to stay low. And at the same time, I'm reaching long through this left leg. So I'm pulling the right leg towards me, reach through that left and switch. We're just going slow because this is part of just warming up to stretch. Pull and reach away, inhale, exhale, pull, reach away, six, Exhale, five, four, three, two, one more. And one, hug both knees in. You're gonna flip around onto your stomach. Get a little bit of back extension just to warm it up and then we'll hold it for a longer period of time in a minute. So right here, bring your elbows under your shoulders, palms pressed down, top of the feet pressed down. You're just gonna open your chest, lengthen the upper back, and hold. So this is your first static stretch, right? Static stretching meaning that we're holding a stretch for a longer period of time, staying in that range of motion, versus a dynamic stretch would be we're taking a muscle through a range, through movement. Keep pressing down into the ground, lift the chest a little bit more, inhale. And then exhale, slowly come all the way back down. Hands slide back by your ribs, hug the elbows back. Little mini cobra, lift the chest. And then lower down. Do two more like that, lift up, shoulders back. Tuck your pelvis and lower. One more lift. And back down. Now on the next one, lift and hold. Hug the elbows back. Tuck the tail under, lift the belly, lift the chest. And then come all the way back down. Coming up onto hands and knees. Hands
hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips, find that alignment, press the ground away. You're gonna do a little bit of cat-cow. You're gonna tuck the pelvis round your back, push everything away. Then inhale, drop the chest, lift forward, lengthen. Exhale, tuck the pelvis, push the ground away, lift the belly. Inhale, release the tailbone, drop the belly, open the chest forward. One more, tuck under, scoop, try to articulate as you come up, warming up the spine a little bit more, and then inhale, articulate as you slowly release one vertebra at a time and lengthen. Exhale, come back to neutral, then sit back on your heels in a child's pose, knees can separate, head can come to the mat, arms by your sides, relax the shoulders. Take a couple deep breaths here, inhale, and exhale. One more, inhale, and exhale. Slowly make your way back up. You're gonna grab your foam roller. You can also use a pillow or blocks if it works better for you, if that's what you have. You're gonna take your foam roller long ways and you're gonna lay on top of it. Your butt's on one end, your head on the other. So you wanna make sure you're nice and aligned so you can lay back and be supported. This is a really nice way to start or end the day. Feet come right under the knees, arms by your sides. So you're just gonna start here and hold. If you have a towel, it's the same idea, towel or a long pillow. It's going along the length of your spine. It's just right there so the muscles along the sides can kind of relax around it. Take a couple deep breaths here. Now from here, you're gonna reach your arms up overhead behind you and you can hold it back here. I'm gonna give you three positions. You can hold it behind you. You can cactus your arms, hold it here, or you can hold your arms off to the side. Whichever feels best for you, I'm gonna start off to the side today. So laying in this type of stretch, you're opening up through the chest, relaxing the muscles along the spine, and you just wanna lay here and take a few deep breaths. Inhale through the nose, and exhale through the mouth. Try to let the muscles of the chest and shoulders relax. Couple more breaths. One more. Slowly bring your arms down by your sides. You're gonna turn your head to the left. Relax the shoulders, arms down. So when you're here, depending on your range, you may be all the way over to your ear, you may not. Wherever you are is totally fine, don't force it. You just wanna give your neck a chance to be in a relaxed position and stretch. And then slowly bring it around to the other side. And one side may feel very different than the other. So you're welcome to stay on the side that feels like it has a little bit more tension, if that's what your body needs. Take a couple more deep breaths here. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, and on your next exhale, bring your head back to center. Relax the shoulders back and down. Now you're gonna slowly come off the foam roller. You're gonna roll off to one side and then lay flat on the mat. You can choose whichever side makes more sense for you. It's easier to just kind of roll off, let the roller go to the side, you come on your back. You're gonna feel that really nice sinking feeling along your spine. From here, hug your left knee into your chest and hold. Take your right hand to the outside of your left knee. You're gonna cross that knee over the body. And for the first little bit, you're gonna keep your back down. Your left hand can be on the mat. And you're trying to get length. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to keep this left hip pressing down and away as I'm pulling the knee towards my chest so I get the stretch 
through the outside of the hip. Inhale, come back to center, hug the knee back into your chest. Exhale, straighten it out. Inhale, hug the right knee into your chest, hold. Take your left hand to your right knee, cross the body, right arm goes to the side, keep your back down. You can turn your head over if you like. Inhale here, when you exhale, come back to center, hug the right knee back in. Straighten the right leg all the way out. You're gonna do a roll up to come up to seated. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, chin to chest, slowly articulate your way all the way up. From here, you're going to grab your towel or your stretch band. You're gonna wrap it around your feet, around the balls of the feet and take your legs straight out in front of you. Now, if you have really tight hamstrings, you might wanna sit up on a block, a bolster, anything that'll get you elevated so you can get a nice straight spine right where you are. So from here, arms are out in front, shoulders back, chest open, choke up on the band or the rope, pull your toes back towards you. So the first thing you're doing is you're just finding length. We're not even hinging forward yet. Shoulders back, chest open, micro bend those elbows, get really tall. You'll feel that stretch in the back of the hamstrings. Keep pulling the toes back towards you. You feel the calves the whole time as well. Inhale here, exhale, pull up just a little bit more, get tall. Toes pull back, calves, hamstrings. Now as my toes pull back towards me, I wanna try to sit a little bit taller. Getting that length gets it all the way up the back of the legs. And then I'll choke up a little bit more. Now from here, we'll start our hinges forward. You're gonna inhale, sit tall. Exhale, you can let your elbows bend. You're gonna come forward, hold. Doesn't have to be far. You want this feeling of pushing back through the back of the body, through the tailbone as your toes pull towards you and you're coming up and over, coming forward. Inhale, exhale, come forward a little bit more. Keep pulling the toes back, one more breath, inhale. And exhale, come forward, hold. Keep pulling the toes back. Take three long breaths here. You can choke up a little bit more if you want to. Inhale. And exhale for one. Inhale. And exhale for two. Inhale. And exhale three. Slowly roll your way all the way back up. Go ahead and take that band off to the side. From here, you're gonna lie on your left side. Make sure you have space, so if you have a roller, just move it off to the side come towards the front edge of your mat. So we got the hip stretch in our twist. Now we're gonna twist for the upper body. You're gonna bend your knees in, you're on your shoulders, arms go out in front. Now you have an option. I want this lower body to stay really stable. So I can take my bottom hand, my left hand, on my top thigh so that I'm not moving. My right arm is long and I can draw a circle or I can go straight back. I'm gonna go straight back. I'm gonna inhale, open up to the side and hold. Then exhale, bring it back. You'll do that three times and you'll hold the third. Inhale, open. Exhale, back to center. Now this is the third one where we're gonna hold it. So inhale, open and hold and breathe. Now as you breathe here, you're looking for a couple of things. You want your knees and hips to stay as stacked as possible. The top leg may slide a little bit. And then you want to breathe into the chest, shoulders, upper back, trying to get your right shoulder to come to the ground as well. So we're getting that twist in the upper back and that thoracic spine, opening up that range of motion. And that's also the area that gets really tight from posture. One more breath, inhale. 
and exhale, then bring the arm back over. And then we'll do the other side. So you're gonna flip over onto your right side. Front edge of the mat, bend both knees. Both arms can be out, or I like to take my right hand on top of that left thigh. Left arm out, inhale, open. Exhale, close. Two more, inhale, open. Exhale, close. And on this last one, I'm gonna hold it. I'm gonna twist and open. Keep both knees right on top of each other and try to get the shoulders down. It's always interesting to see which side has more range of motion. One side may go down, the other side may not. Take a couple more breaths here, inhale. And exhale. One more, inhale. And exhale, then back to center. You're gonna come up onto hands and knees this time. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna be on hands and knees and we're gonna go for a little bit of a lat stretch in, a si in the side of the body. So this time, your hips and your knees don't move. It's your upper body that's moving. N hips and knees are nice and stable. I'm gonna go to the left first, keeping my knees pointing forward. I'm gonna twist from my upper back. We just opened that up. Walk my hands to the left and walk it out as far as I can. Then I'm gonna sit back towards my right hip and stretch through that right side. So the goal is I'm sitting past my right ankle. I'm not trying to sit on it. I'm trying to send my right hip beyond it so I can get a stretch through the right side of the body. You may feel it under your shoulder blade. You may feel it along the hip. You may feel the whole line. And it may sound a little strange, but try to breathe into the area of where you feel the stretch. It helps you relax the tension there and allows you to stretch a little bit more. If you want it a little bit deeper, imagine you're gonna look under that right arm. Take two more breaths, inhale. And exhale. One more inhale. And exhale. Then slowly make your way back to center. And then we're gonna go for the other side. So I'll turn this way so you can still see what I'm doing. So I'm on hands and knees, right? So that time I went to the left, this time I'm gonna go to the right. So I'm gonna walk myself over, my knees and hips stay square. And then I push back into my left hip. Try to relax the shoulders and keep reaching with that left arm. So you get that stretch under the left side of the body. Relax the neck and shoulders. Inhale here and exhale. One more inhale and exhale. Come back to center. You can sit back on your heels. And then your last thing is gonna be a little bit of extension. So you're gonna take your towel or foam roller and you're just gonna lay back over it. Goes under your upper back, hands go behind your head. It might crunch a little, and you're just gonna inhale and stretch back. Just take three long breaths here. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Two more, inhale, and exhale. One more breath, inhale here, and exhale, slowly make your way all the way up. Come up to a seated position. You just went through 20 minutes of static stretching. Your body should feel nice, warm, a little bit loose, ready to go for the day. Thank you so much for watching FitScope. I'm Nika. I will see you soon.